Hello everyone, I'm Ariana from Vermont Teddy Bear and I am here today to show you guys how to do a super fun craft. I am here in our craft corner where each week now we're going to be bringing you some super fun crafts that you can do at home. And these are going to be quick, simple, easy things that just about anybody can do with things that you probably already have lying around the house at home. So this week what I'm going to show you guys is how to make some painted handprint animals. And I'm going to show you how to do a bear and a giraffe, but you can do this with all sorts of different animals. And I have some other examples that I'm going to show you guys at the end so you can get all sorts of different ideas and let your imagination run wild. So for this craft, you are going to need some paper. You're going to need some different colors of paint and something to hold those colors of paint. So I have a plate and I have yellow and brown since we're going to be doing the giraffe and the bear. I also have a paintbrush. You don't necessarily need a paintbrush, but my plate isn't big enough for me to put my whole hand in all at once into each color. So I'm going to use this to help paint the paint onto my hand. You are also going to need a marker. This is to add some extra finer details at the end, like eyes, nose, mouth, all that good stuff. And you're also going to need some rags. So I have a wet rag and a dry rag here. And these are going to be what I use to clean my hand and of course my brush between colors. So let's get started. So first I'm going to make the handprint for the bear, which means I need brown. So I'm going to dip my brush here into the brown and just paint it all over my hand. Like so. And you don't need a ton of paint on your hand, but it should be pretty even. Now, just press it onto the page. And to get the best print possible, you're gonna press down on top of your hand a little bit. that brown off of my hand. Alrighty. Now onto the giraffe. Ooh. Had to clean my brush. Almost forgot. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to dip my brush into yellow. Paint that onto my hand. Okie dokie. So I'll get my paper for the draft, and I'm going to turn it this way instead so that I can get a nice tall draft. Place my hand there. Press, 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 press. And there is our draft. So I'm actually not going to clean my hand this time because now I'm going to go back and I'm going to add in some other paint details. So first I'm going to add the neck and the head and the little ears of my giraffe since I've already got the yellow on my hand. So I'm just going to dip my finger into the paint. If you want to do this with a paintbrush, you can. So you could just use your fingers like me. But I'm going to make a line coming up from the side of my hand where my pinky is. So like so. <laughs> so that is the neck for my giraffe. And then I'm going to make the head. So I'm going to make a circle, more of an oval. Like so. And then I need two little yellow ears. So those are going to be two little fingerprints, two little circles right at the top. is the yellow detailing that we need. So now I'm going to clean my hand because I'm going to need some brown. I want to get off all of that yellow. Okay, <laughs> so now on to the brown. So I'm going to dip my finger into the brown and I'm going to make some little squiggles down the back of the giraffe's neck. And that's going to be the hair that's on the back of the giraffe's neck. Ta-da! So I did that with my finger. 
Sorry about that. Now I'm going to add a little bit for the tail, doing the same sort of motion. There, you can see. Now I need to add the spots. So I get to go crazy with as many spots as I want to. <laughs> there are my giraffe spots. So then the last thing is to add some little hooks. So a brown blob at the end of each leg. There we go. <laughs> so this is our giraffe. This is all of the paint that we're going to do on our giraffe. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry so that later we can add on some other details using the marker. And now, on to our bear. So you're going to hold the bear like this and get back into my brown. I'm going to make a circle around where the head is. So I'll show you. Sorry, making a circle for the head where the thumb is. So, there you can see that was my thumbprint, and I've made a circle there. That's the head. Now I'm going to fill the circle in, and then I'm going to make two little ears up by the top. Like so. Now I need to make a little bitty tail for my bear. I'm going to make a little blob on the curve of the hand there. Now I want to give my bear some bigger feet, some bigger paws, so I'm going to put little blobs at the end of each of its legs. Ta da! <laughs> he's a little silly looking, but I think he's got character. So that is all the paint that we're going to use on the bear. So now, we just have to wait until these dry enough so that we can put some marker detail onto them. So we're going to set them down. If we try to put the marker on too early when the paint is still wet, then it's not really going to show up and the marker is going to get all ruined. So we're just going to wait until our paint is totally dry. It looks like our animals are pretty much dry. So we're going to start on the giraffe. And we're going to give this giraffe a base. So I'm going to take my marker here. And I'm going to make two little circles for his eyes. So those are the giraffe's eyeballs. Now we need to make a little nostril for his nose. I'm going to make a C shape, two little C shapes, like so, and that's going to be his nose. And then I get to make a smile. Ta-da! So that is our giraffe's face. And I'm going to add a couple extra lines just so that you can see some more detailing on the head. Giraffe, and I realized that I made a mistake. We're missing something. So this little bump there, that should be his little horn. Giraffes have things that sort of look like little horns, and they need a little tuft of brown on the top. So that's okay. I'm just gonna dip my finger back. There we go. <laughs> so that is our giraffe. Now we're going to add a face onto our bear here. So I'm going to start with the eyes again. Two little circle type dots. It's a little harder to see since the brown paper is dark, but there are the bear's eyeballs. Now it seems a nose. I'm going to draw a triangle. So there's the bear's nose. Like I got a little paint on my hand, that's all right. Now the bear needs a smile. So, hopefully you can see what that looks like there. And that's it. So, we've made 
a giraffe and a bear out of our hand prints. Pretty cool. And I've got some other examples here that I did earlier. So you can see some other different sorts of animals that you can make using this technique. So here I have an octopus and a flamingo. So for the flamingo, you can see that I added that neck and head and the beak and then the two legs with me after the hand print. For the octopus, I didn't press my thumb down when I put my hand down, so I only got those four going straight down, and then I outlined it and made these little circles to do the suction cups on those. Here we have an elephant and the lion. So for the elephant, I just made an extra line coming off of the back, which is its tail, and then added in all the details of the marker. For the lion, I went over the thumbprint to make it a little extra thick, and then I put these little tufts at the end, and then I made a circle by this part of the hand. I made a circle in yellow, a circle around it in brown for the mane, and then these two little blobs for the ear there. And then of course, draw on his face. And then we have a monkey and a peacock. For the peacock, I made this blue hand print and then went in with this slightly more green color to fluff up the feathers, make them a little feathery. And then I made the legs and the beak in yellow, added in a wing shape and an eyeball. For the monkey, I made a big brown circle over where the thumb was. I made this tail coming off the back side of the hand. And then with a slightly lighter color, I went in and made that lighter part, that's his face and the ears, the two little circles there. And he's hanging upside down, so I also drew in a big green tree that he's hanging down from. So these are some fun handprint paint handprint animals that you guys can try at home. They're super easy to do. You don't need a lot of supplies to do them. And you can make so many different kinds of animals that if you have any paint at all at home, I'm sure that you can come up with something fun to make. So we really hope that you guys give this a try. If you do, please share your pictures with us. You can post them on social media with the hashtag loveisinthebear and we would love to see what you guys come up with. So thanks for joining me in our little craft corner for another fun crafting video. Bye everyone.